friends and welcome to the pre-market update. First, the global indices. Uh, Wall Street ended flat on Thursday as a steep fall in energy sector has counted some of the solid earnings reported uh, in the US. Uh, the stock index with major stock indexes closing little change after the US House of Re Representatives have uh, cleared the healthcare overall bill. Overall bill. Uh, if we see uh, Dow, S&P and Nasdaq were flattish. Uh, whereas S&P and Nasdaq were positive uh, by around 2, 2, 2 and half points, whereas Dow was down around 6 points. Uh, coming over to the European markets, European markets were uh, trading mildly positive uh, or close mildly positive. FTSE was up around uh, 14 points, that is plus 0.2%. Uh, the key data to watch out in US today is the non-farm payrolls data and uh, France's uh, elect presidential elections uh, results uh, would be there on Sunday. So that would be the key data to watch out over the weekend. Uh, coming over to the Asian markets, Asian markets are struggling uh, as uh, traders uh, await the US non-farms payrolls data uh, which is later in the day and after drops in commodity prices overnight has pulled down the indices. Uh, if we see Nikkei uh, was the only market which was trading in green whereas uh, Hang Seng and Shanghai were trading uh, all, uh, down around 0.5 uh, to 0.9%. Coming over to the Indian markets, uh, yesterday we have seen benchmark indices settle at all-time highs uh, as banking stocks uh, climbed after the government's uh, initiative uh, to tackle the bad loans uh, or the surging bad loans and the ICICI numbers were taken uh, very positively by the markets and the stock was up 9% which pulled the bank nifty as well as the uh, nifty also uh, in the green zone or uh, in, uh, towards the all-time highs. Uh, it, it is said that uh, uh, government is now one step closer to the new uh, NPA policy as well as the new steel policy. This has propelled the markets uh, from the consolidation zone and uh, moved towards 9400. Uh, SGX Nifty following tracking the global queues is uh, trading negative around down 37 points and would be likely opening at around 9350 levels. Coming over to the ADRs, uh, major ADRs were uh, trading positive from Infosys, Wipro, HDFC Bank and ICICI Bank trading uh, positive in the range of 0.2 to 0.8% whereas Dr. Eddy's uh, ADR was uh, negative by 2.25% 2, 2 so that is the only negative uh, on the ADR's front if we see FIS activity, FIS was sellers in Indian markets yesterday to the tune of 601 crores whereas domestic institutions were buyers in the Indian markets to the tune of 926 odd crores now let's look at some of the trading ideas for the day. Uh, Tata Communications is the first trading idea, uh, it is short. Uh, Tata Communications reported Q4 loss of 260.8 crores versus a profit of uh, 1413 crores, uh, that is quarter over quarter. Loss from continuing operations uh, came in at 982.4 crores versus a profit of 1.3 crores. So now numbers were bad. So short Tata Communication current market price is 706. The stop loss should be kept at 720 for a target of 685 and 670. Next trading idea is MCX. MCX also reported poor set of numbers yesterday. Uh, volumes were down 16.5% whereas gold uh, volumes were down 51% and silver uh, volumes were down by 26%. So this was a major negative. EBITDA is also down 28% uh, whereas EBITDA was 21% uh, versus 30.2%. So uh, all in all, poor set of numbers uh, from MCX and uh, idea is uh, short MCX. Current market price it is trading at uh, 11, uh, 1155. Uh, stop loss should be kept at 1172 for a target of uh, 1120 and 1100. The next idea is Oberoi Reality. It has reported good set of numbers yesterday. So it is long. Uh, Oberoi Reality revenues were up 26% at 290 crores whereas EBITDA was up 52.3% at 152 crores and PAT was up uh, 150% uh, or sorry 50% at uh, 102 crores. So all in all good set of numbers from Oberoi Reality action to be taken is long. Current market price is 396 uh, for a stop loss being kept at 388 for targets of 407 and 415 in Oberoi Reality. Now let's look at some of the news updates for the day. Godrej Property is planning new launches uh, in quite a few cities that is Mumbai, Pune, Bangalore and NCR region. SH Kelkar board is considering buyback uh, and they would meet on uh, May 12 to consider the buyback. 
plans to buy coal bed uh, uh, gas from its own block at 4.23 uh, dollars per mm BTU. Government has signed MOA, MOA to purchase uh, 1000 megawatt uh, wind power. Equity ETFs asset base has jumped three times or three folds to 43,234 uh, 43, crores. Pulses import to fall by 20% uh, after uh, we have seen uh, better output uh, in FI18. Adani has signed a steel supply agreement uh, uh, deal with Australian group Arium. CBI has arrested REI Agro's uh, promoter that is uh, Sanjay Junjunwala in the load fraud case, loan fraud case. There are quite a few changes in the indexes uh, which will be effective from May 26. We have highlighted uh, in Nifty change that is Grassy Mings going out and Vedanta is coming in uh, to Nifty. The effective change is from May 26. Uh, others uh, we have Nifty 100, Nifty 1, uh, 500 and uh, Nifty Midcap index is also having some changes so one can go through the circular for the same. Patanjali is eyeing 20,000 crores turnover in FI18 or, or in this year. Uh, currently it is doing around 10,000 odd crores so it is seeing a, a one fold jump or uh, it is planning to double its uh, revenues or turnover. Adani may face hefty fine in the uh, Australia's uh, green breaches uh, that is the environmental uh, problems. So it may face a hefty fine. Ordinance to tackle bad loans worth 6 lakh uh, has been cleared uh, and it has gone for a presidential nod. JP Associate uh, defaults on interest payments on NCDs. Oil marketing companies are on radar as we see crude at 5 month low and INR at 20 month high so we could see some pressure on OMCs. On the results front IFL holding reported part of 186.4 crores versus 136.5 crores uh, YY. Imami uh, back uh, came in at 83.2 uh, crores versus 82.1 crores. Uh, some poor, poor set of numbers from Imami. If we see LNT Infotech reported good set of numbers, Q4 pack given at 244.7 crores versus 235.9 crores uh, quarter or quarter. MRF uh, reported a negative pack of 32.2% uh, at 287 crores, that is down 32% versus 423 crores YOI so poor set of numbers from MRF the stock was already under pressure yesterday HDFC PAC came in at 2040 crores versus 2607 crores uh, that is uh, down 21% YOI Advisory picks uh, are Ashok Leland with upside potential of 25.7% Sun Pharma with upside potential of 22.6% Indusind Bank with upside potential of 18%, NBCC with upside potential of 13.8% and Loris Lab uh, with upside potential of 12.6%. On the results to be announced today, we have quite a few numbers. Apollo Tires PAT estimates are close to 280 crores. Icer Motors PAT estimates are 450.8 crores. FSL PAT estimates are 68.4 crores. NID Tank PAT estimates 73.2 crores. G shipping pad estimates 209.7 crores, Blue Dart uh, 38.8 crores pad estimates, Equitas 34 crores, and we have Shopper Stop announcing numbers, pad uh, uh, estimates are 6.4 crores. Other than this, uh, we have Atul and Spark also announcing their numbers today, so the stocks could be in action today. That's it, friends. Uh, I would like to call upon my derivative expert to give you some insights for the day. Good morning, friends. We'll give analysis on derivatives. Uh, yesterday's trading session was a, a trade where bulls were back in action after seeing Nifty, uh, Nifty consolidating at 9,300 odd levels. We did show some kind of a positive momentum there on 9,300 put option, uh, which we were uh, we, we were didn't uh, we were did, um, uh, uh, highlighting that it has been showing in highs in terms of open interest and it's been slowly and steadily picking up uh, in terms of open interest and it's now the highest in terms of open interest and is now the uh, strong support zone for this series and due to which market did uh, manage to close on a gain of around 0.40% uh, settled at 9376.95 It was the banking uh, day in yesterday's trading session being it private sector or PSU banks uh, most, of the, uh, most of all the banks uh, uh, was been able to participate in this uh, up move uh, banking sectors were the, uh, were the major outperformer in yesterday's trading session 
and the open end systems uh, not much of activity uh, very minor addition of around one and a half odd percentage was added in the open interest and the absolute terms 2.62 lakh shares were added in the open interest by cost of carry decreased significantly from five percentage to three percentage that is nifty premium rate came down from 28 29 odd points to currently just 17 points however we consider majority of the addition which was seen in yesterday's trade was on the longer side Put call ratio uh, did increase by 5 basis point from 1.13 to 1.18 and uh, volatility index full of uh, uh, in line with the market going up uh, we do show, we do see an decrease in volatility index and that did happen in yesterday's trade it cooled off from 11.5 to 11.18 odd levels. On the options activity 9400 call option have seen minor addition of uh, minor addition of around 5 odd percentage. Rest all call option uh, have seen a uh, reduction in the open interest 9300 and 9500. 9500 being the highest in terms of open interest have seen a reduction of 1.5% and, and 9300 call option have also seen a reduction of 6.5% in yesterday's trade. While on the put side we have seen significant amount of addition in 9300 put option which is now the highest in terms of open interest uh, with around 57 lakh shares into it and in yesterday's trade we saw an addition of around 24 odd percentage. So all in all 9300 will now act as a good support for the market and activity of now 9400 would be quite crucial to watch out for. A further unwinding in 9400 call option could now trigger a further, a further upside in the market. But if you see a uh, continuous addition in this strike price and expand market to be in a range bound between 9300 to 9400 levels. On the market level of five days we have trends at 9350 with a lower range at 9350 and higher range at 9400. On the derivative watch list, based on the derivative parameters, we have identified certain stock with positive and negative bias. The stock with positive bias are Adani Ports, current market price 340, Hexaware, current market price 238, and Cummins India, current market price 1065. While stock with negative bias are Indusin Bank, current market price 1429, Tata Motors, current market price 439, and uh, Bharat Forge, current market price 1123. Uh, there are four securities in the bank period for today's trade that is Adani Enterprise, Bharat Finance, JW Energy and Ujjivan. On the FIS terms, it was surprising to see FIS being on the selling side in index futures despite market showing a decent amount of up move, especially on the bank nifty front but FIS was still on the selling side in index futures. The net sellers by 439 odd crores while uh, index options net buyers by 1328 odd crores. Stock futures net bias by 477 crores and stock options net bias by 40 crores only. That's it from our side. That's it from derivatives. Have a nice trading session.